Hello and welcome to this Champions League soccer ball tutorial in Onshape. Most of the design is done with uh, curves and surfaces. Intersection curves will help to define the position of planes as well as an axis. We will create a sphere and project composite curves to it. Delete face and fill will help us to define the surfaces we want. Finally, we will thicken, fill it, and pattern. Well, let me show you my workflow and then we will model together. So, that's um, in the part studio. I will roll back to um, that first sketch and see there is that initial shape, that pentagon. We will need a plane, do a surface extrude, surface revolve, find that first intersection curve, do that once more to define a plane. as well as define an axis. Then um, mirror that shape to that other plane. Define on that plane an axis and then find that intersection of that axis and that one. Make a plane there. Then surface revolve and then we start projecting those curves to that surface. And the delete face and fill, uh, fill face, yeah. Another one and then thicken and there we have that. Once we get that, we can fill out um, those spaces, thicken, fill it, and pattern those. Then mirror that whole thing to the other side, make a transform. And again, um, fill thicken, fill of those, pattern, and, well, that's it. All right, so let me get all this over here. I get an empty part studio file. Um, and let's find that first sketch on the top plane. So sketch tool, view normal to that plane, press P to hide those planes, get in the polygon command, open that five-sided polygon, make the bottom one horizontally. And now um, we will define one, one side, although we don't need to really, because we will define the size of our soccer ball with that surface revolve. But anyways, let's do that here. 44, okay. Then make another um, polygon on the inside. That one will be um, like that. B makes those two sides 
parallel. H will make those two horizontally constrained. Now, um, let's, oh, okay, we can't uh, pick all, all that. We can make that. Um, construction geometry and that one as well pressing Q so now let's um, define our star I press L and from here go over there from here there sure we can we could make a, a pattern and the sketch command, but I'll do it like that. All right, so that is that shape. Now we need to revolve. Um, that side uh, as a surface, and that's why I will draw this here and make that perpendicular to that. Okay, and from there on, I will draw one length of our polygon. I don't need to measure it, I just want it to be there. And then I will draw one line from the center to over here. And draw one line maybe here, make that midpoint concentric or a midpoint relationship here, make that perpendicular to that, and then give that an equal relationship between that one and pressing right, select other, that edge, the one I just, um, sketch here right all right so now we will draw a circle coincident with those two endpoints and we can make that circle as well as construction geometry and now i will draw four more lines here and make all of these equal. And that is how um, the size or that circle is defined. Um, let me just draw um, these lines coincident here and that one line from here over there which will be um, perpendicular to that one. So perpendicular, that one and that one. All right. That is that sketch. And let's exit. And Define one plane with um, 
that edge here and the top plane at um, 90 degrees. Let's have a look at that. All right, great. Now let's make a surface extrude of that outer polygon. Surface new, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Go to the other side. Make it a little longer. Something like that. All right. Make that sketch visible. And now let's make that surface revolve. So I go into revolve. I pick that edge. No, that will be the axis the other way around. So I will revolve this edge around that axis and accept that. All right. So now we need to find the intersection of those two surfaces. And that is where that next um, pentagon star will be located. We got this point and we will have that one and then we need one on the other side to define that plane. So now we go into intersection curve, which you can find um, here. Group one is that one. Group two is that one. Okay, let's hide those surfaces. So that is that vertex we need. Um, to define a plane here in on shape, we need uh, three points. So that is why I will just do that operation once more. A revolve that edge around that axis. Okay. That intersection curve of that body with that one. Accept that. Hide those. And now we will define that plane. Three points. One, two, three. Yeah. All right, maybe hide those two curves. And um, now we will define that plane, right? Uh, sketch on that plane. S, that plane, polygon, five-sided. Hey, no, 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 no. That is wrong. Just a second. No, that's not right. I'll get it out of here. Let's first... Um, so we got that plane, right? And we will combine these edges here in a composite curve. Picking that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that, one, that, that. that that. Great. So now we need to mirror those curves over to that plane. And therefore we, we need another mid plane as a mirroring plane. So plane, mid plane, that one and the top one. Here. 
look from the side. That is so, right? Okay. So now get into mirror. Take our curve um, body. Mirroring plane is that one. Accept that, and there you have it. Hide planes, and um, I can hide that sketch for a moment, so you see what we get so far. Now, on that plane two, I will make a sketch and um, then draw a line from that center over here and that will connect with that axis coming down from the origin. I'll start with that. So I will define an intersection curve between the front plane and the right plane. Accept that. There we get axis number one. Now on that plane, I will draw a circle. And we can define that by that those three corners. Okay, so now we will draw on that one plane we had to find plane number one um, a line originating here and connecting to that one. And sure, that's got to be perpendicular to that plane. So let's take that, that edge of the plane, and it's defined. Great. So now is the moment where we will def um, draw that half circle for the spear. Um, let me hide planes. Let me hide sketches. Ah, oh, no, no, we need that one. Because we want to um, define the plane here. So it's a um, plane point that one, and the top plane. There we have it. All right. So let's draw on that plane uh, an arc. Connect those two endpoints. Make that coincident. Um, and well, now we can really define the size of that ball. So I looked that up in, on the internet and I'll take radius 111 a good size for a soccer ball. All right, so um, exit that. And the next step is that projection of those curves here to that sphere. 
So um, hide that plane. Hide that sketch. Um, revolve surface that edge around that axis. And we don't need a full revolve. We can make a one direction so we can maybe see better what we're doing. That one's going to go over here and that one's going to go over there. So probably a bit more, something like that. And have a look inside. All right. Now go into projected curve and apart from that axis mm, we can project everything here <clears throat> and make that normal to target and our target that is that one, right? Did I get the full? Ah, I get to revolve a little more, huh? So go into revolve, edit. Now, that should work, right? Right, so that, there we have it. Let's get rid of that surface. Delete. Part, no delete face that one all right hide those curves or well let's make that surface fill that one that one that one All right, one more time. One, two. New surface body here. Um, and that is the right moment to start uh, thickening things. So I'll go here, get that one, give it three millimeters, accept that, repeat that with another one. Watch out for the direction, both in the same one. Then fill out that two millimeters, those two separate bodies, separate parts. And um, now let's give it some color, right? So um, I'll pick that, added appearance, white, okay, that one, added appearance, white, great. And after that operation, we can pattern that one around that same axis, right? So um, that's a circular pattern. That's the part. That's the axis and instances five times. Accept that. All right. And whatever, what's left here, that is um, what we need to fill out. And we can hide, let me see, that is that intersection curve. I will rename that as axis because we will need that um, again. If 
but for now I will hide all curves makes it easier right and we will go into the fillet again and pick on those edges accept that thicken that three millimeters okay new is okay and fill up that with uh, two millimeters right and yeah let's make those parts blue and um, I get that intersection curve named here and we'll make that circular pattern that part around um, that axis where is it I just named it right oh man here okay I can't pick it from here no no so um, let's see where is that that is that curve I'll name it here as well axis axis all right so now make a pattern of that part around that axis with uh, five instances accept that all right so now we got almost half of it right wait a second what did i do here ah okay just um so now where will that be that next plane um for the Uh, we got that plane right because we drew that um, arc that semicircle so which plane is that that is plane four okay I'll make it visible for a moment and just make a part mirror of all that over there all right but um we need to rotate it, that and that angle is uh 36 degrees so I'll go into transform which is here pick those bodies that line uh, rotate that axis 36 accept that all right so now we don't need that axis curve anymore I'll hide it uh, we do need it because okay now we will fold those gaps one two three four five six one more time one two three four five six mm -hmm. Did I miss something? Plain? No, I said I want to fill that here. Pick the wrong command. Okay. And that one. Yeah. 
Now again, thicken three millimeters, that one to the outside. Again, thicken outside. Accept that fillet two millimeters, those two. Change that appearance, add it to that one, that one. All right, and now one more time. Circular pattern, that one, that one, around that axis five times. Accept that, um, hide that axis, and have a last look. And that, maybe make it translucent. Go back to shaded, and, and that's it. So, I hope you liked the video. If so, you can leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Um, talk to you soon.